REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It's a set of simple rules for how data is exchanged over the web. REST APIs used HTTP methods like GET, POST, and DELETE. That is to interact with resources, which could be anything data, media, or even algorithms. Think of it as a bridge that allows different software systems to talk to each other effortlessly. In this video, we'll dive into the basics of REST APIs, what they are, how they work, and how you can use them to build powerful web applications. Whether you're new to this or just need a quick refresher, you'll leave with a solid understanding. So let's jump right in. To understand REST APIs, we need to start with client-server architecture. The client is any system or device that sends requests to a server. It could be your computer web browser or a mobile app. The client's job is to display information, gather inputs, and request data or services from the server. It doesn't necessarily store or process any of the heavy lifting itself. Instead, it delegates this task to the server. The server, on the other hand, is the system responsible for processing the client request. Imagine you're browsing an online store from your computer. Your computer browser or the client sends a request to the store's backend, the server, asking for the list of products. The server retrieves that data from its database and sends it back to your phone, which then displays the product listings. Now, it's important to note that the client and server roles aren't always rigid. A system can switch roles depending on the context of the interaction. So suppose you are sharing a file from your computer, like sending a photo. In this case, your computer acts as a server because it is now providing data that is the photo to another computer. Or let's say there is a web server that needs to get information from a database, like user details. In this case, the web server temporarily acts as a client because it is making a request to another service that is the database server. Now, when a client needs to fetch or update data, it sends an API request to the server, which carries out the required operation and sends back a response. APIs or application programming interfaces, they act as bridges between the client and the server. APIs define the structure of these interactions and REST APIs are a widely used method to organize this communication. What makes REST a go-to choice for scalable application is its clear separation of concerns. That is, the client focuses on the user interface and experience, while the server handles data and processing. The best part? They don't need to know each other's internal workings. This independence means the client and server can scale and evolve separately, making updates smoother and the system more flexible. Once you understand the basics like request response structures, data formats like JSON and authentication methods, working with any REST API becomes second nature. It's all about mastering these fundamentals to unlock REST's full potential. All right, so a REST API is a type of web API that adheres to the principles of the client server model and focuses on delivering resources using standard HTTP methods like get, post, put, delete, etc. Get retrieves data from the server. Post submits new data to be stored on the server. Put updates existing data. And delete removes data from the server. And REST APIs follow a few key principles. The principle of uniform interfaces ensures that all interactions between the client and the server follow a consistent and standard format. This is achieved by using standard HTTP methods like get, post, put, and delete and accessing resources through URLs. More importantly, in REST, each request from the client to the server must include all the information necessary to understand and process the request. The server does not store any state about the client session between requests. So imagine you are ordering food from a restaurant. Every time you call to place an order, you must specify your name, phone number, and the items you want to order. The restaurant does not remember your previous orders. So the server processes each request independently without relying on information from previous requests. In REST, the client and server operate independently. The client only needs to know the API endpoints and the data structure, while the server manages the processing and storage of data. For example, a newsreader app fetches articles from a news website's API. The app does not care how the website generates or stores the articles, and the website does not care how the app displays them. And finally, responses from the server must define whether they are cacheable. This can significantly improve performance by avoiding repeated server processing for the same request. 
For example, when you watch a video online, your browser might cache it locally so you can rewatch it without downloading it again. So in our case here, cache control max age of 3600 means the response time can be cached for 3600 seconds or one hour. Public here indicates that the response can be stored in shared caches. So the next time the client makes the same request within the cache duration, the cache response is used instead of querying the server. Now, application programming interfaces or APIs come in many shapes and sizes, which can make it pretty difficult for newcomers to understand what they are and how they can be used. For example, there are various types of APIs such as REST, SOAP, GraphQL, and gRPC, each with its own rules, standards, and use cases. REST APIs are based on HTTP, making them easy to work with but more flexible, while SOAP is a strict protocol requiring specific XML formatting. APIs return data in different formats such as JSON, XML, or plain text. RESTful APIs usually use JSON because of its simplicity, but other systems might still rely on XML or even custom formats for specialized purposes, making it hard for newcomers to adapt across different APIs. API security can also vary significantly using methods like API keys, OAuth tokens, or JWT. Understanding how to authenticate and securely communicate with each API is an extra layer of complexity for those just starting out. But don't worry, I have also made video on these topics. And finally, APIs can also differ in how they process requests, because some are designed for real-time interaction, for example live chat, while others may handle large amounts of data asynchronously in batches, for example in case of financial data. It's no wonder REST is the backbone of modern cloud computing, and on the web, REST APIs are agnostic. They power everything from web apps to iOS, IoT devices and even legacy systems, giving you the freedom to build without limits. As we have seen, REST APIs are fundamental to modern web and mobile applications, but they come with their own challenges like maintaining endpoint consistency, handling versioning and implementing secure authentication methods. In my upcoming videos, we'll dive deeper into each of these topics and explore how to tackle them effectively. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe.